What is that? No, come on. Oh, fine. Okay guys, I'm gonna answer a few more questions for y'all. How did you pick which school you wanted to enter in? I was kind of biased off the get-go. I called Fatima, FEU, and UST. And I ended up with FEU because it's the school that my mom went to, and the various physicians that I was with also went into. And FEU has a good name here in the Philippines. Isn't that right, Bianx? What are the requirements to get in? Well, to get into FEU, you have to have the NMAT, and that I think you have to get um, above a certain percentage, but the NMAT's really not that bad. It's it's more like um, like an endurance exam. The questions aren't that hard, but it's an endurance exam because it's still six, seven hours long. And you have to have graduated undergrad as well, you know, and have decent grades there. Is it hard to find a place to live in? Apartments, housing, condominiums, and is it expensive? Well, it depends on what you consider a place to live in. One of the first places that I went to here. The room, I could literally put my arms out and I could touch both walls. The bathroom was the toilet room. I, it's the toilet was basically right above like where the shower stall was or where the shower area was. It is just sitting there. So you do your business and you take a shower at the same time. I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. That's too tiny. Um, I ended up settling for another dorm. Then after that, I was able to, I was fortunate enough to actually get a place here, which is very nice. And that's much more expensive. But the dorms here, there's a lot. There's a new big one opening up right down the street. There's a lot of dorms to choose from here and they all vary in price range from really, really cheap to fairly expensive. You just have to get there early. That's the hard part is getting here early enough. I would say at least two to three weeks ahead of time to find a good place. Or if you have someone to go and run for you, sure. Is having a car in PI a must or is the commute really that terrible in PI as they say? Having a car, you don't need one. You can commute the whole time. There's lots of ways to commute. You got your feet, you got trikes, you've got jeepneys, you've got FX buses, the open and closed buses, you got your friends. So without a car, I usually take an Uber ride here because I think it's the safest way to get around. When it comes to wanting a car, I usually get a car because I can just leave when I want to. So I dictate when I go, I know exactly where it is. It's just a hassle to maintain it and to drive. Driving really does kind of, let's face it, it sucks here. It's just not, it's just not that easy, but you don't need a car. As a matter of fact, most people do not use a car here. What's your budget when it comes to living in PI? It also depends on what you want. The budget can be anywhere from, if you order out a lot or you eat out a lot, your budget may, might be 10K a week. Or if you're really sulat, if you're looking for that meal, you can get by per day, three or 400 pesos a day. So two to three K per week. You could do that. I'm, I'm speaking from an American standpoint. I know my Filipino friends here can do way better than that. Get, all, get by on 50 pesos a day, I'm sure. Can you go home to the States during your break or do you even have breaks? Well, that's nice. Yes, we do get breaks um, between first, second, and third year and fourth year. You get a break between each year, um, between semesters and between each year. It depends on um, how the scheduling goes, but usually it's about one to two weeks. And then between the semester, it can be four to six weeks between um, the years. So first year to second year, it can be four to six weeks. And then second year to third year, it can be, so you get your time. But between third year to fourth year, we only had a week and a little. So I didn't get a chance to go home. And I actually haven't been home in a year and a half. Sad. How many hours do you study a day? Oh, wow, that's a, that's a fiery question. How about you, Bianx? How many hours a day do you study? Average during second year. The whole night. Yeah, the whole night, basically. Um, it depends on what you have on your plate in front of you. If you're in first year, you could probably get by about four to five hours of studying because you have to study. But second year is really hard. Me, I would be studying maybe eight, nine hours a day and then when there's exams, I would literally study 12, I, I studied 14 hours in a Starbucks from 10 a.m. to 12 midnight. So yeah, it, it, it can range. There's days you don't need to study. You could just do a, some light reading. How do you know which locale to attend when you have a 24-hour shift? Well, it's good about being INC. There's multiple worship service schedules around here. So you're able to get around wherever to get the service. So if you can't go on Thursday, you can go on Wednesday. 
Or you can go even Thursday morning. For example, I went this Thursday morning. I didn't have to be until 12 noon. I went this Thursday morning at 5.45 a.m. in Central for English service. So you have your options. How did you pick which locale you wanted to attend that would be flexible enough to allow you to be a zoo? I picked uh, based on language preferences only, um, the locale of Lagro. I actually only attend Lagro maybe once or twice a month. I'm always going to the other different congregations in the area just because, just for the sake of the scheduling. I'm a Sunday school teacher as well, so I'm able to, uh, the classes are on Monday, and then I teach on Sunday. So for the most part, for the first three years, I was able to do that really easily. Um, for fourth year, it's definitely a little bit more challenging to do, but um, yeah, definitely doable. How long have I been in the Philippines? Well. Technically, if you don't count me going home for break, I've been in the Philippines for three and a half, three and a half years already. I have been home for the breaks. Um, every chance that I get, my family, they're hungry for me. And I appreciate it. I'm hungry for you guys too. Love you guys. But I go home every chance I get. It's not always the most financially responsible moves, but you can definitely do it. I go home often. But yeah. That's about it. Anyway, if you guys got more questions, send them out this way. I love answering them. They're great. Love you. Bye.